Hey everybody, it's Jason with the Board Game Mechanics, and today we're going to take a look at a game called Parks Memories. Parks Memories is a game from Keymaster Games designed by Kyle Key. Plays two, three, or four players. Just played it two. And it plays in, what's the time say? 30 minutes. That's long. If you're playing this with two players and you take 30 minutes, you're probably doing something wrong. 20 minutes, 30 at the most. And effectively, what you're doing here is you are trying to match tile art and icons that get special abilities. That's the game. This shares artwork artwork with a few of their other games, Parks and Trails. This was out before Trails, but they all have the same, this similar artwork here. But this gameplay is a lot simpler than those two and will really remind you of a game that once you see it in action, you know what we're talking about. So let's go out of the table, check it out. All right, so here's a game of Parks Memories, all set up for two players. To set up, you're gonna give each player one of these, a set of these ability cards. This is the active side. This is the inactive side. They're all gonna start on the inactive side. You're gonna shuffle all these tiles here, make a grid, a three by three grid, and put three semi-equal stacks above the top here, and you're gonna have the hiker ready. Right there. All right, so the game is pretty straightforward. Think of memory match or the memory game mixed with some cool special abilities. So let's talk about how you place so this player will go first. On your turn, what you're gonna do is you're gonna uh, flip two tiles from the grid so let's go ahead and do that flip this one and this one and i'm trying to look for a couple different things when you flip tiles if you can match the symbols which i did here that was a good look i can activate my special ability so i now have this special ability which uh, when i move the hiker i can lay it down and i can block off a row or a column which is pretty nice then what i'm going to do is i'm going to take one of these tiles and i'm going to put it in front of me so let's take i like this one let's take this one Put it in front of me. Then I place the, the hiker down on a tile. I can use that ability if I want to, but I don't want to right now. And then I bring out a new tile. And that's my turn. The goal of the game is you wanna be the first player to get three matches. You're not trying to match these symbols. You're only matching these for the icons. You're trying to get the same picture of this park. So I'm looking for Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. Now it's this player's turn. They're gonna do the same thing. They're gonna flip this one and let's do this one that one they did not make a match with the water there's no matching tiles out here for them to you know try to think about but they didn't make a match with the water so they don't get to activate their special ability but they like this one so they'll take this tile they'll move the hiker because you have to move the hiker or use an ability and they will bring out oh sorry didn't mean to look at that uh they bring out a new tile this player's turn again and then all the other tiles that are face up go face down. We'll flip this one and this one. I did not make a match. I have water and tree, so I can't do any of that. But I'm gonna take this tile. I'm gonna just kinda put them over here so you can see them. And then I will move the hiker over here, flip this, bring out a new tile. That player's turn. They're gonna flip this one and this one they did not make a match so they can't do anything but they can they like this one so they'll take this they'll move this over here flip this down I'm trying to make a match so you can see how that works so hopefully that happens before long back to this player they're going to take uh this one and maybe this one Ooh, okay here we go nope that's not a match just kidding um, but they do match a tree, so they do match the tree. So now I get to activate my tree ability. And that is, look at the tile in secret. When you draw a new tile, look at it in the secret, place it face down onto the field, which is pretty nice. So I'm gonna take this one. And again, you're just collecting tiles, trying to get matches. So and before I'm gonna use my ability and I wanna look at the tile that I'm flipping and then I can put it in the grid. So this is what we're looking at. Ooh, that's a good one, all right? So we'll put it right there. So this player is gonna flip this 
and this. And there's no matches there. Tree and water, that doesn't make a match. So they're gonna take this one. I'll move this over here, flip this down, bring out a new tile. Then back to me, I know what this tile is, so I'm gonna flip it, because I wanna explain this. And then I'll take this. All right, so a couple things happen here. This is a wildlife tile, a wildlife sighting. When this pops up, it's gonna automatically match this icon. So now I'm able to refresh my sun. And after you flip this tile, flip two or more tile, two more tiles, which is pretty awesome. It's gonna give me more tiles to flip to try to get. Then I have an option. I can take this tile to try to make a match, or I can take this one and activate another tile, which is what I wanna do. So I'll take this one. It doesn't get kept, you just discard it. And I'm gonna go ahead and activate my water. So now I have three of my abilities active. Then I'll bring, I'll move this over here, flip this down, and bring out a new tile. Back to that player, they're gonna, ooh, another wildlife, all right. So they'll go over there. They match the tree, so now they have their tree ability, finally. They're gonna do the same thing I did, they're gonna capture that, and they want this one. And then they're gonna move this, put this down, bring out a new tile. The game will also end if two of these three stacks are empty. Back to me, I'm gonna flip two more tiles. So that's what I'm gonna do on my turn. So I'm gonna flip and flip and flip and flip. All right, now we have some decisions to make. All right, so I matched two mountains. I already have my mountain ability, so that's fine. I don't get worry about that. Now I get to take a tile. So here is where this game is going to be shining here. So I'm gonna take this tile here. The reason I wanna take this tile is the match is right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and I'm going to put it this way. I'm gonna use my um, mountain and I'm actually going to block off um, all of these tiles so they cannot be taken. So they still get flipped, but none of these can be taken because my special ability is blocking this off along with all of those. And then a new tile will come out here and it will be the other player's turn. So they will flip this one and this one. They do not get an ability, but they're gonna go ahead and flip two more tiles to see if maybe they can get a match. Let's do this one and this one. Sweet. All right, so they now have two water matches, so they'll activate their water ability. All right, and then they're going to take this one because they know there's a duplicate out there. And they're gonna move this one right there, flip all these face down. Bring out a new tile, and then it's my turn. All right, so I'm gonna flip this one because I know I want this one. And then let's, bring, let's look at a new one. So I match the sun, so I get to flip the sun again because I got my special ability back. And then I'm gonna take this tile and I now have my first match. One of three down. I bring in a new tile, bring this here, slide this down. And that's how the game's gonna play, till either someone has three matches or two of these three piles have run out of tiles and the game is over. That is how you play Parks Memories. Let's go to the top, see what you think about it. All right, well, that was Parks Memories. So let's talk about the components because Key Master is amazing at making a game look good. So let's talk about this. Here's the inside of the box lid. Amazing. Box art, amazing. This hiker block, just a really nice wooden block with awesome art. A little unnecessary. Could have just been a hiker like in parks, but I like it. Now, this is the art. This is the same art that's in parks and trails. It's the 59, 52 park series or something like that just posters that you can get of the national parks. So it shares common art throughout the other parks games, So, which I kind of dig. And it also has those player abilities, which I showed you, I won't go into that, because that's just basically a wooden tile. And that's all the components. The, the nice tiles are cardboard tiles. They're nice cardboard tiles, nice cardboard abilities, and this nice box here. So let's talk about the gameplay. So, like I said at the top, this is gonna remind you of a game called Memory. 
you know, you flip a tie, you flip another tile if you match, you get those. If not, you flip them back over. Other people are trying to remember what you flip, so when they flip tiles, they can make a match. This one, however, while you're trying to do that, you're trying to make matches in a couple different ways. You're trying to match these icons up at the top so you can get your special ability, but you're also trying to take tiles with pictures so you can match pictures because you want to be the first player to match three matching tiles to win the game. And that's it. Now, the special abilities are pretty cool. There's the one like I showed you. I'll just look at them real fast. One's going to let you... Um, Take a face down tile when you take a tile take a face down tile and return a tile to its spot face up i mean that's amazing look at the tile in secret then place it face down that's really cool gives you some information that everyone has flip two extra tiles so you get to flip four tiles on your turn and then this is the one's going to let you block the column or the row with the hiker which is pretty awesome because there's a, it's a couple tiles there that you need you're going to need to use this so the the special abilities are nice they're easy to understand easy to use and they just gas up a little bit. But that's the game. Two different kinds of matching. The little icon at the top and the picture. Trying to be the first player to get three matching sets of tiles before the tiles run out. That's it. Um, it's a simple game. It's not as good at parks. It's not as good as trails. But it's fun. It doesn't have to be as good as those games. It can be its own game and you can still have fun with it. Now I'm not saying this is a game I want to play all the time. But sometimes you just want to sit down and play a game that's not super overwhelming mind-numbing and this one is just sit down have some fun look at some good art and be on your way in 20 minutes and that's where this one sits so i'm actually going to give this a bgm accepted seal this seals for katie because i don't like it as much as her but she really likes this game so i'm going to give this a seven out of ten on bgg which is a three and a half out of five wrenches on an arbitrary wrench scale that means absolutely nothing but we like to give it the games that we enjoy and that's what we're going to do so that is parks memories from Keymaster games I'm Jason with the Board Game Mechanics, and as always, keep gaming.